It is quite clear that the growth of the current overall IC market has slowed since the beginning of the 21st century. Accordingly, it is necessary to scale ways whereby the foundry sector can continue to support the IC industry to maintain or even improve growth rates. The purpose of this presentation is to discuss from the foundry perspective the key challenges to be faced and the business opportunities to be taken to provide for future growth. Next slide, please. This presentation is organized as follows. First, we give an overview of the accomplishments of the silicon foundry segment to put into perspective its relationship to the overall semiconductor industry. Then we will describe the strategies we believe are necessary to ensure that the foundry sector maintains growth. Finally, we indicate our view of the future prospects for dedicated foundries. Next slide, please. In 87, PSM began to replace IDMs as the favorite option for outsourced wafer production. The ensuing rapid growth of the silicon foundry segment is highlighted in this chart, which shows overall revenue for the IC industry, which is the top third, compared with the total foundry revenue which is the middle curve, and uh, the middle curve consists of both IBM foundry and dedicated foundry. And the bottom curve is the revenue for TSMC, as the leading company of uh, the dedicated foundry industry. All these over the period of 1987 to 2007. While the overall growth rate of the IC industry was 11%, the foundry segment showed a growth of 17%. PSMC, meanwhile, had an average growth of 47% over the same period. Next slide, please. Today, foundry revenues account for 11% of all semiconductor IC revenues, and that's the lower curve. That's the direct revenue curve. It's Today is 11% of all semiconductor IC revenues. A more accurate picture of the importance of foundries, however, is provided by estimates of the value of products produced by foundries. That is, the revenue for products that are sold by foundry customers. And that's the upper curve, the impact revenue curve. By this measure, Foundries now account for 28% of overall semiconductor revenues. Next slide, please. The rapid growth of the foundry segment was accomplished initially by enabling the growth of fabulous design companies, and more recently as a result of outsourcing from IDMs to foundries. Underlying this rapid expansion has been the ability of foundries to provide significant value added to their customers. Foundries have enabled rapid product innovation by providing the process technologies necessary to meet performance and cost requirements. They've also developed and enabled the user-friendly circuit design environments needed to reduce design difficulty. Foundries have also led the industry in cost reduction, helping their customers to retain competitive positions for their products. From the customer's perspective, establishing foundry relationships helps to eliminate the need for the large expenditures required to develop silicon process technologies and to invest in manufacturing facilities. Moreover, for IDM companies, Using foundry production as part of an overall manufacturing strategy to miss flexibility in capacity allocation and optimization of internal manufacturing capabilities. 